what is going on you guys it is me it is Shira. it is Vibra. it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again one time for the one time happy new year shout out to everyone who has experienced a wonderful transition in 2019 and is coming into 2020 with that show me the money energy Shout out to all my Pisces. Thank you so, so very much for clicking this video. We are here today to see what your energies are for the month of January 2020. Yes, indeed. Thank you, guys. We're going to get into this energy. We're going to see what um, blessings we got prepared for us in the future and what we need to know um, for this month ahead, all right? So if there's anyone um, who is new to this channel, thank you so much for um, clicking and being with me. I am Scorpion Reds. If you want to book a personal and private reading, you click my About tab. All of my booking and contact information is there. Shout out to all my OGs. Listen, we showed up and we showed out at 19. We <laughs> took over in the takeover season, okay? If there's any, at any point in time, if you guys want to support, um, you can always support by number one, clicking that like button. And um, there's the Cash App, there's the PayPal, there's the Amazon wish list, which is... Um, the archetypes deck here uh, was sent to me by the um, Amazon wish list as well as this deck that we're also using today, which is the in between tarot, which someone sent me for my birthday. So I greatly appreciate all of the love and the support from my collector gatherers. I call my group here the collector gatherers. Yes, because we collect and gather information and we collect and gather each other up and we help each other. All right. So. We're going to start this energy off, number one, by, you know, giving thanks to the creator. Um and just um asking for blessings and clarity throughout this reading so let's get into that father god thank you so much for coming through and by carrying us on your back and bringing us over to this threshold to um january 2020 show me the money energy father god this is the uh season of receiving of receiving and believing father god and um, we thank you so much for this transition. We thank you so much for this growth. We thank you so much for the hope and the faith and the determination in our blessings. So, Father God, please give us guidance for my Pisces for January 2020. Thank you so much again for all of the blessed energy that's covering us in the past, present, and future. We thank you ahead of time right now, right here today, for all of the blessings that you got for us in the future ahead, Father God. Please give us guidance for my Pisces. Yes. Treat us nice, please. Please give us guidance. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Amen. Let's get into it. So, let's see what the center, what the general energy is. This is a lot that just popped out. We got the prayer. We got the crone. And then we got the shadow. Okay. So, this is what... Oh. And then the cave. Okay. So, let's see what's under the deck. Under the deck is the womb. So, this is what I'm getting. Right here is somebody that is just praying for deliverance. This is someone that's praying to be uplifted from whatever current state of being that they were in. Um, it looks like someone went through with this cave and with this shadow here. They went through some deep inner soul journey. You know, they had to go in the shadows. They had to go in deep and they had to reach deep inside. And it's like, what do I really want? What do I want my life to be like when I walk and I wake up in the morning and I walk in my footsteps every day? What is success to me? What is happiness to me? What is love to me? Um... It's like, I just heard I'm tired of living in the shadows of other people's happiness. It's like, you know, um, I just heard it's like, I'm just like someone just taking the pieces of what someone is giving to me. That's what that means. Walking in the shadows of other people's happiness. It's like, I'm ready to live my life, you know, and it's like. 
Pisces had to go through this deep soul growth moment where it's like, what do I have to do deep inside? What's the stagnation? What is the pivotal point that I need to come to to create change in my life so I can get out of the darkness and be able to completely walk into the light? Because it, 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 it was something, it was something or somebody or something in their life where, um, it was some level of unhappiness and just like feeling unfulfilled. And that shadow is like really going deep within. And also the cave is going inside. You know what I'm saying? Going inside, secluding yourself from everybody to kind of do inner work. So that's what this is about. The prayer is, like I said, you praying to be uplifted. The crone is that... Um, like not mother energy. This is like that grandmother energy. This is like that wisdom, like ancient wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, there's the maiden, the mother, and the crone. The crone is, I want to say, like the mother of all. Like, uh, praying for some type of guidance and being gifted like some ancient wisdom from someone that's lived life that's experienced everything in life that can be able to tell you like listen you know I had to go through my shadow moment where I had to go deep within I had to go into my safe place in my cave I had to come to that understanding do you see the eyes and do you see that little uh, light at the crown chakra. You understand what I'm saying? Coming to some understanding. Deep understanding. And listen. Look at the hand justice. Going in. Going in. Darkness. Be able to see. Be able to see. Who am I? This point of my life. What was it important for me to understand? I feel like that's what the crone is coming here to kind of nurture you, to kind of like that good grandmotherly spirit, like, you know, where have you ever gone through a phase where like you and your mother wasn't getting along or like she just wasn't understanding you, but you could always go to your grandmother. You know what I'm saying? Your grandmother, um, because she knows her daughter, she knows you, or, or, you know, she knows her son, and she knows you, and she's been through experiences in the phase of where her child is, and she's been in experiences in the phase where you are, where she could be able to kind of help both of y'all bring everything together, where everyone come, to, you know, together as a unison, so that's what I'm saying is, I feel like this is like, you being given some information, a uh, uh, crow represents like a secret, like secret information, guidance. You know what I'm saying? So excuse me. Let me close this door because my kids are being very loud. Excuse me. So let's get into this. Let's see. Give me guidance. Give me guidance on the crown. What's the crown's message? Because the crone is trying to give some type of message. It's trying to give some type of information in regards to this prayer. It's like trying to give some type of guidance, some type of wisdom towards whatever I was praying for. The Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is um, basically someone that is uh, literally having to come to a decision, having to make choices. And this is someone that might be reluctant to make a choice, to reluctant to make a decision. And I believe what this crone is trying to tell you, what the crone is trying to tell you is that you need to be able to see that there's going to be constant stagnation in your life if you are not going to bring yourself to the point where you can be able to finally possess this decision making ability. Like you got to finally make a decision now to determine exactly what this is that you want and and, and how it is something that 
it's like a, a denial or refusal to come to terms about something. The tower in the reverse. So let me take a deeper look at this. So this two of swords card, it looks like a soldier that needs to go off to war. It's like they have some type of responsibility elsewhere and it's like they're hang he's handing this woman back a handkerchief like you know thank you I don't need that no more but I gotta go um I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made um based on logic you know what I'm saying um you know what's right to do and if it's something or someone that needs to be left behind be because you have a self journey, it looks like here that you need to go on a self voyage. Um, this this tower in the reverse means that um, this is someone giving a chance to escape the inevitable. This is someone that knows that this is a crack foundation. That this is something that can't build. It's not going to grow. It's going to eventually fall down. This is like a building where it has a crack foundation, and y'all just keep putting putty and, and, and trying to do quick fixes, but you know in about two to three years that this shit is going to fall. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to have to move. Don't sit there and act like just because you keep doing these quick fixes that it's not going to eventually fall down. And I don't want it to fall down and, 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 and you to lose everything or you lose yourself. You understand what I'm saying? And trying to do patchwork on something. So... The crone is explaining to you like it might be time for you to finally make a decision to give something up and to walk away before everything kind of falls down on you or in your face. You understand? And it's like you're smart enough. And, and if you look at this, this is the tower leading into the star. Look at these men. They're walking away. It seemed like they had already turned. Their, after they turned their back on this tree that was already engulfed in flames. And they're walking towards the star because it's like they know their purpose. And they're not tempted by a forbidden fruit. It's something about a forbidden fruit. Because in this deck, this is the tree that, that tree with Adam and Eve and stuff like that. So... I feel like you guys burnt the tree down. It's like whatever the tree is, whatever it was that used to tempt you, that used to lure you in, that used to, I guess, make you weak in some standpoint, like you couldn't help but to continue to give in. I, the crone is telling you it's about time for you to make the decision to not only just hand this person the handkerchief back and decide to go on your soul journey and do what you're supposed to do with yourself be the star because as you see this tower is going into the star not only do you need to give the handkerchief back but it seems like you need to just completely burn down the foundation so it's not even a temptation anymore to go even back to because it's like with the star energy when you walk into the star energy this is someone that knows their purpose you know what I'm saying and when you know your purpose you know the vision that you have for yourself and that God and that spirit has for you it's like not allowing yourself to be tempted and realizing that you were being that you were spared it was like Something that could have, with this tower in the reverse, something that could have went really, really bad. I feel like you're given a chance to be spared, but you have to see that star energy. You have to know your purpose with that star. You know what I'm saying? You have to see that and make the decision to walk away or everything is going to burn down and you're going to burn down with it. Do you understand what I'm saying? But you're being given a chance to hermit. It's like it's time for you to come out you know and you have I feel like this is someone that's done their soul work like you've, you've done your shadow work 
Because even with this tower in the reverse, this is someone I feel like you realize that you're being spared, that you were spared from a situation and you're being given a second chance. And you realize that this patchwork shit is not going to keep working. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to, you know better. So it's time to finally step out of this tower moment. You know what I'm saying? And resurface with this hermit in the reverse. Um... I feel like you studied your music notes. You 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 studied the tune. You 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 fine tuned your instrument. When the hermit is in the upright, this is someone going within. You understand what I'm saying? Like in the cave and all that stuff, doing their their shadow work, their soul work, praying, focusing. You understand what I'm saying? Like really doing their self work, fine tuning their instrument, gaining a lot of wisdom. I feel like you've learns a lot through this phase and it's time for you to re-emerge it's time for you to re-emerge what is this the king of wands in the reverse um it's something about okay so the king of wands in the reverse going into the page of wands okay so i feel like You've committed yourself to your soul evolution and your growth, right? The crone is acknowledging that of that. It's time for you to take everything that I've taught you. You understand what I'm saying? This is like your grandma but telling you it's time for you to take everything that you've learned, everything that you've went through in this experience and pass it on just like I'm passing it on to you because do you see like this lady, she's taking this um child into school you know you see all these other people are graduating and you know what i'm saying she's walking this, this this child into school like her first day at school and as soon as she will graduate do you understand what i'm saying so this is like your grandmother energy your ancestors coming to you like listen baby it's about time that I teach you, <laughs> I just heard the school of the hard knocks. Like this is a school of the hard knocks. But as you're walking through the door, you're seeing a line of people graduating, and you know that you soon too will be graduating. And I and I feel like this is the spirit energy of a grandmother, like some elder that is like giving you education and with this being in reverse this um king of wands in the reverse what it's basically saying is like you've been taking a kind of a lazy like a non-active approach it's time for you to make the effort and to re-educate yourself and Cause I feel like this is someone walking you in the school and it's like, it's like a different phase and maybe you have graduated and you're now you're going into the page of wands. Now you're going into the next level. You know what I'm saying? Like you might've just graduated middle school and now you're going to high school. You just graduated high school and now you're going into college but in college you're just a page you're just a freshman you understand what i'm saying um it's time to go to the next level you understand what i'm saying you can't take this not active approach and with this king of wands being in reverse it's like um you know the level of passion you know the level of energy you know the actions that you have to do to elevate yourself and to go to that next level and to step out of the shadows this is something that you're praying for um even the, 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 these moments of seclusion is something that you prayed prayed for maybe unknowingly but you needed it you know what i'm saying it might have been something that with this tower moment that you didn't see coming and that you didn't want to come but you needed it to come you can't keep trying to you can't keep trying to escape something and trying to avoid something from happening when you know um you know it's time for you to come out it's time for you to move forward and transgress to the next stage of your life you understand that's what you went through this moment for it's time to grow 
Give me guidance on the prayer. The death. The death card. Like I said, it is time for you to end that old phase and realize that um, this, like, cause this is someone that is trying to repeat high school or something like that. You can't, you can't stay here. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you've learned everything that you need to learn, it's time for you to come out. It's time for you to come out and, 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 and stop trying to repeat lessons. Do you understand what I'm saying? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. This is that Phoenix moments, that Phoenix rising moments. You understand what I'm saying? You have transitioned. You have transitioned. It's time. It's time. What is this? The Ten of Coins. Once you accept this transition, everything that you prayed for is going to come into fruition. This is someone being recognized. This is the Ten of Pentacles. And as you can see, this is someone being recognized in front of an audience for a job well done. And it says equality now. It's like... You're equally balanced. Everything that you feel like you've earned and that was destined for you, that you're equally balanced and your life is equally yoked and everything is balanced in your life. Your job, your love life, um, your personal endeavors that's outside of your career. You know what I'm saying? Your personal life, you have a fun, like everything is equal. You, you know what I'm saying? Everything. You get the recognition all fronts in your life you know what I'm saying time it's time it's time it's time you have to you 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 have to step out you have to step out you have to make this decision you cannot take this not active approach it's it, it, it's it's some it's like lazy the Knight of Wands is an action oriented. He's a go getter. He's a you understand what I'm saying? What is this right here? This is the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so the Knight of Swords in reverse is someone that is like, and then this is the Four of Swords. So Okay, so basically what I'm getting here is with this Knight of Swords and the Reverse and the Four Swords right here, I feel like it's something about like the force of the way it, it's like you don't want to deal with extreme teachings or something like that. It's like something about you not wanting to deal with some extreme teachings because you felt like you've done this before and it's like I feel like you, you feel like people demasculate you and they dominate you or something like that. It's something about, I feel like you guys have been scared, like searching for this equality. Like, it's like you being, you being put in a position of leadership. It's like you growing and you being blessed with this death and this, and, and this, and this new blessing, this new life, and you being given a form of leadership. I feel like I don't know if it's trying to tell you about extreme teachings like be careful of your words and like don't be too harsh in your teachings and like it's like your actions is like blunt force like extreme teachings is like um do you see what okay so look at this you see the force and how he's like and you know like the night of of, of 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 swords is someone that's getting into an argument that's like confronting someone that's like 
it's like a very aggressive energy so it's like you could be talking to someone but it's like you could have a nicer approach like you don't have to talk to them like that you understand what i'm saying this can also mean like a car of violence or something like that you understand what i'm saying and, it, and especially in the reverse it's like um like unable to control your tongue it's like unable to control your tongue and not realizing how the things you say hurt people um you know what i'm saying so and not caring you know what i'm saying it's almost a level of not caring you know what i'm saying and it's like it's a level of just uh, absolutely not caring and with this four swords right here this four swords is going into the five of swords and you see that that is someone being um kind of slain and defeated and backstabbed and betrayed by someone um, you know what I'm saying? The four swords is someone that is retreating because after the three of swords, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like they're, they're coming off of the three of swords where they're realizing that everything wasn't what it seemed and they're going within to their self because they realized that there was more that was going on than what meets the eye and then going into the five of swords. I feel like it's the recognition that people are liars, people are cheaters, people are robbers. They're, you know, just, you know what I'm saying? Like how treacherous the world is. You know what I'm saying? So, it's something about some extreme teachings. It's like, I don't know if the, if, if, um, the Sagittarius feels like the crone has extreme teachings. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords. It's like being defeated, being annihilated, being assassinated. Like their worst fears. Like being tortured with their worst fears or something like that. Like what the fuck is this about? Because I really don't feel like this has anything to do with this up here. Is this the shadows? Is this the shadows? Because it's like... I don't know if y'all were raised with like some level of extreme teaching or something like that. And it's like you want some level of recognition and equality and success. And you want to be rebirthed. You want to live your new life. You want to stand proud and, and, and be everything that you want to be right here with the prayer. That's the prayer. The cave, the shadows, like something hidden, something deep within you that it's just like it wants to come out it wants to scream you know what i'm saying like you having to make a decision you can't keep it's time to come out this hermit you've been keeping the end it, ha it needs to come out it's time to take action with these extreme teachings Why do I always get something about someone coming out? Like, I, I do all, now I'm getting something about, like, someone coming out. I feel like it's someone hiding his sexuality. But he got that watch. It's like, it's time. But it's like, they're extreme teachings. They're going to assassinate me. They're going to try to ignite. Yeah. That's why you're keeping it within the shadows. And page of cups it's like all you really want is to be allowed to love like I feel like you were taught as a child like what love is and what love looked like and kind of like not to play with fire and remember I said that this was the temptation tree Adam and Eve fighting the temptation With this page of cups, it, I really do feel like it's like 
were told like you couldn't play with dolls or something. You see like it's a little boy playing with the doll. The fire, the temptation. It's like you're supposed to be a man. I swear, I always get this in this in this reading. Look, the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Like that's not going to produce a family. Do you understand? It's extreme teachings, extreme teachings, and it's like every time that you try to explain to these people. Like, it's different now. Like, everyone's equal. Like, equality. Like, it's time for equality. Like, all that old shit. That's old. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's old. I feel like maybe this is someone, like, maybe their grandmother was the only one that accepted them or something like that. And your grandmother is telling you it's time to stand up. It's time to stand up. It's time to stand up. It's time for you to come out of these shadows. It's like I know that these people have an extreme. And it's like they try to every time. Do you see? It's like every time like this person gets cut down and gets assassinated and gets annihilated. But you can't allow that to produce fears in your heart. Because what about the people? What If you, do, if you take a non-action approach. How would it ever be equality? What about the people that are coming up after you? You know what I'm saying? It's like you gotta not be scared and allow yourself to live. Like you just... Number one, you were just a child. And I feel like... That's the, 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 the crow, the secret. Ugh. I always get this shit in Pisces, bruh. I always get this shit in Pisces. Because I'm like, what is this about these extreme teachings and being annihilated? It's like verbally annihilated, assassinated. Being, no! Like, almost like abuse. Like, it's like, I don't know if like, you were abused as a kid for like playing with dolls and you would talk like it was a temptation like to don't play with fire the fire and with this tower card with this tree with this fire this you know what i'm saying like say like you gotta walk away and be the star or something like that but it's like the stars like you know it's like you know who you who you know who the fuck you are, young. Yeah. Oh, cause I'm getting so many different downloads right now, man. I swear, I'm getting so many different. Listen, the tidal wave disturbance, and I did see this come out in the reverse. It's like, don't allow those other people's emotional floodgates to come in to your life and disturb your peace, your sanctity your well-being like I, I and I don't want you to continue to hold who you are a secret like I feel like when they were when you was a child like they controlled you and everything like you're not no fucking child no more now it's time for equality you understand what I'm saying wasp there's some level of jealousy because I feel like they tear you down and they say mean things to you and they do this to you um to keep you in fear to keep you intimidated you understand and it hold on, hold on. i feel like there might be they keep you intimidated to keep you in line you understand what i'm saying to have some level of control over you because i feel like they're scared of you being whatever you want it to be. Like, it's it's like, I feel like you being whatever it is that you want it to be is like the, their worst fear. And I feel like there's a level of jealousy because I feel like um maybe back in their day, they wanted to live their life free and they wanted to be bisexual or do whatever they wanted to do but it wasn't allowed 
then like now with this equality now car it's like everyone is equal to free to do what they want to do but it's like you're not you're still a child to them you see what i'm saying you still can't give into temptation you it's like you're gonna listen you understand what i'm saying what is this Seven, seven, seven. Rapid soul developments come from challenging times. Everything that you've experienced in this, this school of the hard knocks. Eventually, you're going to be the crone. You're going to be the one with the ancient wisdom that's passing it on to another youth. Someone that is just like you, that's different, that is beautiful. That is delicate. I feel like they don't realize how much they hurt you and things like that. And um, I feel like it's time to burn that tree down. So it ain't even there. You need to come to the decision to burn this tree down so they can't do this to you no more. This shit doesn't affect you anymore. You're standing up in this new day. Listen, the Ten of Coins representing it going into the Ace of Coins. A brand new solid day. You understand what I'm saying? Successful advances in your life. Solid, secure. You're secure in your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? You've been promoted. You've been acknowledged in front of the world. Equality now. This is like... I feel like this is a grandmother. This is someone that's like, man, no fuck. What y'all talking about with this dumb shit down here? I got my baby. Like, you ain't got to accept him. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I really... Give me one more. What is this? The pen. The creation. You've been given a blank slate to create your life to be whatever it is. Don't allow nobody's extreme teachings to determine what it is and who it is that you want to be or who you are you understand because only thing these people are trying to do is trying to wash in to create a tidal wave a disturbance in your life because they're jealous because when they should have would have could have that they couldn't and it probably deep down inside they are their damn self and they can't be who they want to be because they're putting their motherfucking fears on you and you don't allow people to do that do you understand what i'm saying Give me guidance of the outcome. This is what I'm telling you. I get this all the time. For this group. What is this? Thoughts. Thoughts. The seven of hearts represents the second chance of love. Creation. Thoughts. It's time for you to start writing and creating. Write your thoughts down and create it. Make it a petition to the Lord. Make it a petition to the universe so God can bring you exactly what you've been praying for. Listen to prayer. Listen, all you want is a new beginning with this death card. Only thing you want is a chance to end all of that bullshit that was your life before where you was unhappy, where you were being controlled by people's teachings and stuff, and you just want equality and a successful new beginning a happy life a secure life a good job a good love environment a happy home nice animals nice neighbors good friend in in, in social life you just want the best of life you just want a new chance to have the best of fucking life and have equality just like everybody else like that's all you've been praying for that was the prayer Listen, rapid soul developments come th from challenging times. Yeah, this shit was challenging you dealing with this shit, but I feel like you are, once you take, once you find, once you finally stop hiding, the crows represent secrets, ancient knowledge. Whoever this is, this crone, this grandmother, she been new. She been new that. She always accepted you. It's time for you to do this for you. Not only to do this for you, but to do this forever. But you gotta you gotta stop 
procrastinate and you gotta stop letting up on motherfuckers these jealous motherfuckers disturb you with this dumb shit don't nobody give a fuck about this look anger we don't give a fuck about nobody being angry let that bitch be mad you understand what i'm saying and another thing uh what is this is this the eight of clubs the eight of clubs represent work you might need to work on your anger do you understand i feel like to some point these people try to anger you. These people, listen, that's what these people do. Listen, and then this is pleasant pastime. I feel like you, I feel like, I feel like, and, and I said this, whoever this is with this extreme teachings that is the most homophobic or whatever the hell this is, that's always cutting you down and don't, believe in you that's always just trying to assassinate and trying to annihilate you the thing is is because maybe these motherfuckers always wanted to play with dolls but they couldn't you understand what I'm saying you were different and you accept your differences or whatever it is about yourself like it's a young jovial innocent energy about your passions and your emotions and your free your freeness to love and to live. And I feel like that's they're jealous and they try to assassinate and kill that in you because they weren't allowed to have it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Listen, you see this change, this number 10, that represents change. That cycle has ended. You understand what I'm saying? Stop letting these people anger you. This this eight of clubs, you need to work on allowing these jealous, envious motherfuckers to anger you don't allow them to put your fire out to tell you what you can do what you can say how you can live no these motherfuckers is mad because you were out there enjoying the pleasures of your life and they were experiencing by looking at you something that they wish that they could have did in their past time and that's why they try to extend you extinguish your flame do you understand what i'm saying but there's going to be more pleasantries more information it's going to be more invitations that are going to come to you in life where you can live and enjoy and be who the fuck you are and be what you want to be and you do that do you understand you do that you don't hold yourself back for nobody and you know it's going to anger them let it anger them look at you enjoying yourself baby you got on all your costumes and drinking your little champagne and you do what that's an open invitation. The two of, two of diamonds is um, communication. Open dialogue, communication. With you being actually in the presence of people more like you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, And I think that that's another thing that you've been praying for. Equality. This is what you're praying for. You just want to move. You want to go somewhere. You want to move to another place. Will you feel more comfortable? Hmm. I, I say do it. Give me one card for the page of cups and then we up out of here. Pisces. Y'all know I love my damn Pisces. Y'all live. Y'all live. Live. Oh, okay. You got a lot. Okay. What is this? Visit. There's going to be a visit. Woo. The sweet card. And that's the ace of hearts, baby. That's new love. That's a new life. That could be a new home as well. Hearts represents the home environment. That could be a new home. Oh, sweet. What does it say? Chattering. Oh, there's going to be a lot of people chattering about you. You see that number nine up there? Uh-huh. The nine represents cycles. Completion. <laughs> Completion. You understand? Political. Confidence. Being open-minded. Eternity. Okay? And this is the Seven of Diamonds right here. The Seven of Diamonds represents a, a big money win. You understand? A bonus. A big financial gift. Or it could be a new car. Like a new house. Like something like a big purchase or something like that. You understand what I'm saying? This could be a new house. And then the visit card, this is 
the um i believe this is the jack of hearts this is the jack of hearts here the jack of hearts is a poet is a romancer is uh someone very suave very debonair very um emotionally uh like emotionally open to like their heart is open they want to express their love you know what i'm saying love letters like you understand what i'm saying maybe i have 51 love letters or something like that but they're Look, and you see how this person is coming and pulling the chair. I'm like, hey, come take a seat. Come take a seat. It's like someone offering you a seat on a throne. It's like an invitation, a visit, an offer of love. Listen, the sweet card, new love. And like I said, this could be also new home, new home, new home. And remember, the page of, this is the page of cups. This is an offer of new love. You understand what I'm saying? A gift. A change. Then you see the bird up there. The bird represents chattering as well. And then what is this here? The thief. The thief card. The, it's like these old women are talking about. And then this is the page of diamonds here. And with this thief card in the reverse. I really don't read these cards in the reverse. But I... I I feel like it's like whoever this was right here, whoever this was right here, all of this verbal control, this verbal manipulation, this verbal abuse, all of this shit like that. I feel like they had a sense of control. I don't know if you lived with them or it was something about an arrangement with them where they has some level of control and like I said this could be your mother or, or a family member or something where you would allow them to talk to you like that because of who they are this is basically saying to me that you're going to have an invitation a new place a new placement in your life there's someone that is offering you a seat a new placement in in your life um where there's going to be a change. There's a change of cycle. There's a change of cycle. And then this is the number. My watch keep going off as well. This is the number six right here. The number six represents new love. It represents peace. It represents harmony. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I feel like that's might be a reason why these people are jealous with this wasp. This is why they say things that are hurtful. This is why they, these things are meant to sting for you. They're meant to cause a tidal wave. They're meant, to, they're meant to cause a disturbance in your life because I feel like someone really doesn't want you to live your life that way. They really don't want you to be happy. And if you're not um, uh, gay or, or lesbian, that does not mean that this does cannot um, resonate with you because it could just mean that the way you want to live your life is someone that's wanting, wanting to control you and wanting to put you down and kind of trying to put their fears on you so that you cannot create so that you cannot create and be who you want to be but something something that you're going to love is about to come into your life and it's going to feel like a lottery winning ticket like that's what this is and that's what these people are talking about it's like this luck this brush of luck, this brush of fate. I don't know where this money came from. I don't know if this motherfucker stole this money or something. But this motherfucker just hopped up and left. Because remember I told you, this ace of hearts. And remember I told you, this seven of diamonds is a big purchase. It's either you getting a big lottery winning, you getting a big amount, a big lump sum of money, or you making a big purchase. It also represents movement. But these women are talking about it. And they're wondering how you got this money or how you were able to move like that. It's like, how does this happen? And then the page of diamonds, again, that represents communication. 
They think that you stole some money. They think that you did something underhanded when really you didn't. You didn't do anything. And, and the only reason why these people are talking about you because they ain't think much of you anyway. And they don't want nobody else to think much of you. That's why they don't talk nothing positive over you. That's why that cave is there. That's why it was that seclusion that you need to go in the shadows. Like you needed help from your godmother or your, you know what I'm saying? This constant prayer. You just wanted equality. You just wanted a chance. These people ain't got nothing to do but to sit there and talk and guess and talk shit. But you didn't steal a motherfucking thing. You stole your life back. You stole your happiness back. That's what you stole. Right? And once you stole your happiness and your life back, only thing these motherfuckers could do was talk about how you change. Talk about how you close that chapter on it. And yeah, they don't even come around here no more. This motherfucker got money. They listen. I don't know. They Listen. <laughs> they got away like a thief in the night. I sure did. Because the, the night of diamonds represents an open door, a communication, acceptance letter. You could have got acceptance for that new job. You could have got acceptance for that new house. You could have got accepted for many, many things that brought many, many blessings for you. And yeah, you did run away like a thief in the night. Secret is, they don't know where the fuck you at with this cave. You're secluded. You're hidden. You're focusing on your prayers, your gifts. You wanting to transition with this death card. You never wanting to go back here again. You just wanting equality. You wanting a safe house, a happy home, a committed life, a committed love life, a commit. You know, like you're committed to your praise and your blessings. You understand? You have the protection and the wisdom from the crown. Now, only thing that you gotta do is just listen to her and finally make that decision and stop trying to patch things up with these people that are doing nothing but trying to tear you down. Stop trying to do that. Come the fuck out. Fuck what they say. Come out and do whatever you want to do. Be whoever you are. You understand what I'm saying? You not taking the action approach is not only hurting you, but it's going to help others that are coming up under you. You understand? This shadow pa this the shadow moment, the shadow phase was for you to become you. For you to realize who you are and what you want to be and what you trying to create. Rapid soul development comes from challenging times. That's why you went through this. So you could be sure who you are. So can't nobody ever in their life come through and try to bully you and tell you and control you and make you live the life that they want you to live because they wish that they could have lived it. They could eat a dick. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, pleasant. 2020 show me the money time. If these motherfuckers do not want to put in, if they don't want to pay with their way, if they are not, listen, equality, if they are not going to pay their diamond for equality, if you can't accept my change, if you don't have nothing but disturbance, jealousy, and negativity, and nastiness. Listen, all that nastiness is over here, ain't it? That's why you went in that cave. That's why that cave popped out. Mm -mm. You keep that shit over there. You understand? That ain't what we doing. That is not what we doing. That is not what we doing. At all. At all. And if you don't accept it, and if you don't like it, stay the fuck away from me. Because I got what I need. I got my new chance of love. I got my new chance of life. I got my transition. I got my protection. And I got my wisdom. I got someone that loved me and accept me for who I am. And I can always come to for wisdom. I know who I am. I went through my soul moment. I am good. You have to be angry and deal with that shit. Because I'm going to control, like I said, that eight of goddamn clubs. I'm going to control how I allow you to anger me. I got to work on that. And that's something that I got to work on. Not allow my motherfuckers like you to affect me. Because I'm good. Next, the end. Okay, bitch? And yeah, you right. I did walk away like a thief in the night, bitch. I stole my energy away from you. That part. Get the fuck. All right, y'all, this has been y'all's reading. It is Scorpion Breads. I love you. You love you. And thank you for loving me. If this video resonated with y'all, y'all click that like button, goddammit. 
listen, because this one, listen, because I'm not playing with y'all. And y'all better leave my Pisces the hell alone. Because I'm going to try to tell you, listen, to Pisces, keep it nice, please. We don't have to. <laughs> tell them, baby, we don't have to. Pisces, keep it nice, please. We try. We try, and it definitely looks like this person has tried, has tried, has been, keep trying to patch something up with someone that doesn't accept them and doesn't love them. Guess what? We love you, boo. I love you. This is Scorpion Reds. I will see you guys in February. Make sure that y'all hit that like button. Make sure that you share if you care. And if you want to support, always support by hitting that like button. And you can show love in many ways that you feel um moved to. If you would like to book a reading, click that about tab. I love you. I see you guys in February. Peace. Oh, and don't forget. When I do my live monthlies, y'all make sure that y'all that y'all um jump in for the collective gathering readings. All right, peace.